All right, so today in Blender, I'm gonna be teaching you something crazy. So modeling is a big part of making scenes in Blender. And obviously there are sites such as Sketchfab and Quixel Bridge that give you great high quality assets. And in fact, I've bought a tutorial on how to use Quixel Bridge. But as for, you know, Quixel Bridge and Sketchfab, on Sketchfab, sometimes you don't find things that you really want variety. I mean, you have things, but a lot of them are paid. But, and on Quixel Bridge, you have only nature related assets. So what if I told you that there's an add on that has a ton of free assets as well as paid, but mainly free that are incredible. And you can have it in Blender and just drag them in and they will automatically download. Well, it does exist and it's called Blender Kit. So if we hop over to Chrome, you can see that here I have Blender Kit up and this is just a small variety of the free assets you can get from uh, Blender Kit. So there's so many, as you can see, you've got architecture, characters, decorations, and all of these. So I'm gonna teach you how to download it. So firstly, let's over to the Blender Kit uh, homepage. Now they have two pla uh, plans. There's a full plan and then there's just the free plan. So we can just use the free plan right now because the full plan gives you uh, access to more paid, uh, more variety and some paid objects. So if you want, you can go ahead and buy the full plan. But for now, we'll just use the free plan, which has a great amount of assets. So if we click, I want free assets, you can see that we can click download on this Blender Kit and it will start downloading. Now I already have it, so I'm just not going to download that. All right, so if we hop into Blender, you can see that what you're going to want to do is go to edit preferences, bring this over here so you guys can see, and you can go to add ons and click install. So once you have install up, you can go to your downloads and click wherever you downloaded your file. Now note, do not unzip the file. Blender add-ons are made to be in zip format, and if you unzip it, it's just not gonna work and you're just gonna end up with a bunch of Python code. So let's hit cancel. And once that's installed, you're gonna wanna go over to Blender Kit, and you want to check that. So I already have my add-on enabled, so you have to make sure you have to check that checkbox, and this is what it looks like. Now, at first, if let's just search for anything. Let's search for a car. Yeah. So look, we've got a ton of assets here. This little lock on the bottom means that it's paid. So we cannot use these assets unless we have a paid plan. You see, if I try to drag that in, you have to uh, subscribe to their paid plan. However, there is a really handy way to feature, to filter out all of the uh, paid assets. If you go over here to this little filter icon here, you can click on free first, and that will give you all of the free assets first. So in the end, if we just scroll to the end, then finally we're gonna get some paid. But as you can see, I've been scrolling for so long now and I still haven't got to the paid assets. So the way Blender Kit works is, you might think, oh, if I click on this, it's gonna take me to a link where I'll install it. But no, you can drag in anything like this. And you can see we've got this nice little display here that shows where it's gonna add. And if you let go of your mouse, it just starts downloading it for you and it's gonna fill up until it gets uh, the model right into Blender. So you can make some pretty amazing scenes. Like, So it's really diverse. And I mean, when I found it, my entire Blender modeling style completely changed because then I knew that I could put less time into actually modeling. It's like recreating the wheel and more time into actually compositing and building my scenes up. So you can see you've got this beautiful car right over here. It's a Lamborghini, wow. Uh, I really want this one in real life. If I could just have an add-on where I could drag this into real life, that'd be great. But <laughs> we can't do that. So yeah, these these are just such a wide variety. We got robots and stuff and mechs. So if we just oops, spelled that wrong, but see here, a humanoid robot. So these are perfect for all kinds of scenes. So yeah, that's basically Blender Kit in a nutshell. Um, it's if you use it in partnership with Quixel Bridge and um, Sketchfab, you can create some pretty amazing scenes. Um, yeah, so that's it for the video, and I hope this uh, really helped you out. So if it did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel, as it would help me out, uh, yeah, and fuel my creative journey. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.